Hello there. I've had a couple of questions about star parse, what it is, how you can make use of it, how to get started, etc. So let's do a very basic guide about how you can be using star parse in your game. Star parse is a damage meter, which means it's going to be tracking how much damage you're doing, how much healing you're doing, or how much threat you're generating. It can also do a couple other really niche things that sometimes applies to rage, but that's the primary use case is just seeing how much damage you're doing throughout a fight. The way to get started with Star Parse is come to ixparse.com. I'll put a link in the description below. If you come here, you're going to see it's Excel Star Parse. There's going to be a big green button here that says Get Star Parse. I'm going to click that big green button. It's going to download our Star Parse.exe. While that is downloading, we're going to have to come into game because we have to turn on combat logging in this game. If you come to your options and then your preferences here under combat logging, there is a toggle here that says enable, com enable combat logging to file. By default, it's turned off, so we're going to turn it on. So once we hit apply here, hit OK, and then we're going to do a, a, or enter combat real quick just to make sure that there is a combat log to file here. And then we need to actually go and find where that file is going to go live. So if you come into your Star Wars folder here, so in, in my, for me, I have documents and I have Star Wars here. Oh, I've lost it. There it is, Star Wars The Old Republic. There's now going to be this uh, folder called combat logs where you can see it's going to log every single combat that you've uh, taken place in over the past or however long you've had combat logs enabled for. So hold on to this, we're gonna need it in a few seconds. So once Star Parse is installed, we're gonna get it up and running. Bum, 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 bum. Gonna hit install and it's gonna do all these great things. While it's installed, we talk a little about, about some use cases for your Star Parse. Star Parse is really useful for when you're either alone in your ship and you can be uh, parsing numbers to test out gear to see if you need more alacrity or more critical, etc. Um, what your actual crit chance is, etc., etc. Additionally, a lot of raids, or especially high end raids, will be asking you to turn on star parse so that way they can be tracking if you're actually performing or not. Now, with that caveat, if you are focusing pumping numbers over doing mechanics or staying alive, you're throwing. You need to be doing mechanics first. Star parse is a resource for you to reference, it's not a priority. So, Topping the logs is one thing, but beating the boss is far more important. All right, so now that we've come in here to Star Parse, we need to actually turn on, uh, we need to open up these settings to show Star Parse where to pull combat logs from. Star Parse is not smart enough to pull combat logs on its own, we need to show it where it lives. So if you come here to settings, there's gonna be a log directory. I think it's, it's automatically pulling mine because I've had it installed before. Um, if you hit choose here, and then we're just gonna pull that same folder that we pulled from before, um, so start with the old public and then combat logs, select folder, and now is going to be pulling logs from this folder. All right, now I have star parse open. What now? There are a couple things you can do with star parse. The first is a default parse, which is going to run on its own, but you can see here, I've actually set up a little interface on the right. Let me get rid of uh, the, uh, the screen here. This little interface on the right, that's gonna have all my numbers on it. The way to get this on is to turn on interface, personal timer, or personal stats. Additionally, so your raid might have like uh, raid challenges or, or, or all threats, etc. set up. Um, those are more optional. Once you like where it is, you can click on lock overlays, and now you won't be clicking on the overlay if you're actually toggling in game. So this lock overlays button will stop you from, from accidentally clicking into your, your um, star parse log on the right. Um, that way you're not you know, screwing over your team. Additionally, you can do uh, raids. So if you come to raid, raiding, so you can see right here, I'm in, I'm in Sassholes raid. Um, you go come down here to settings, uh, and then you have the options of selecting which raids you want to join. So if you have multiple raid groups or a single raid group you want to join, what will happen is a raid leader will send you a note that says, hey, here is our star parse raid logs, uh, the name, the password. So again, that's going to be coming from raiding to settings enter in the name, enter in the password, and then hit join group, and then it'll invite you to join this group and you'll be good to rock and roll. You'll also see everyone else's damage numbers. So you can kind of be paying attention to who's actually pumping numbers and who's not. Again, it's not the priority, staying alive and killing the boss is, but if someone's not perform performing or if DPS is just too low to kill the boss, it'll be an explanation as to what's going wrong in the fight. All right, so now that we have that, we can come in here and if everything went well, well, if we now cast on the dummy here, it'll start to log. Yep, there we go. You can see it's tracking my APM, which is action per minutes at the top. It's tracking my DPS down here, which is just the total damage per second that you're doing. 
is going to track your heals per second and effective heals per second. Uh, the difference is that heals per second is going to be the total number of healing that you're doing. Effective heals per second is how much health you're actually healing. So if you're healing someone that's at full health and you're doing you know, 30K HPS, well, that's not really any effective healing. You want to have your effective healing as high as possible. Threat per second is just how much threat you're generating on the target. Um, those are the kind of the, the basic ones you need to be paying attention to here. You can make this smaller or larger depending on what you want. I like mine to be usually a little smaller, so I'm gonna go here and turn off lock overlays and then make this a little bit smaller so that way it's not taking up too much of my screen here. Lock the overlays again. And then hippity hoppity, the, DM, the damage meter is your property. So I hope this little brief guide is very helpful to you. That is how I get my damage meter up and running. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the description below. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. So until then, that's all I got. So uh, peace.